the proof that what we see are separate volcanoes. Yesterday, uh, the whole area of the Fagradesville uh, volcano was awakened. We could see spikes in the tremors. We reached the peak around the four or five o'clock, and now even the peak is continuing. Uh, what is interesting is that the purple line is has not reached the level. That's the large bubbles. That means the magma is a volatile pool. It has mixed with a lot of uh, uh, bedrock, which already have, has been depleted from its uh, volatiles 6,000 years ago or millions of years ago when it erupted. And uh, what we are seeing now is an old crust being uh, mixed with the fresh magma. What is interesting is that we see the eruption at the Nar crater and at the new Alicia uh, volcano as I call it people come and say that this is a separate volcano no this is pressure edge all these made up words if you are a geologist you understand this they don't have any meaning what they say anyway we have a proof for that I will provide the proof for you here this is a steel image I put in my baseline for the Alicia I put the baseline also for the NAR then I put a vertical line and I measure how much it is. My estimate is that this is about um, 150 meter. So there is a 150 meter difference between the height. We know that connected vessels will be at the same level. If we have expected these two be connected to each other, one of them be a parasitic vent or pressure edge or whatever man-made man word, made up board, uh, we should expect that uh, both of them at least fountain lava erupt at the same level, nor at that level and Alicia at this level. They don't. They are, they are completely separate. Alicia is not a parasitic vent. The rest of the volcanoes, which I'm going to put names for them gradually, are separate.